Hey, what's up, weirdos? It's me. Hey, what's Hello guys welcome to my channel and so today i would like to like go over my crochet outfits from over the years and like how slowly i'm getting like better at making like clothes and stuff because i crochet like a whole bunch of different things like like i like just making like different crochet so like blankets and stuff but for this video is mainly gonna be about me go looking through all of my um crochet outfits throughout the year which they're all right here and this big pal. There's not actually there's not made that much. I technically I still got like one more cardigan that I need to work on, which is almost done. Which kinda wish I could finish it before this video, but I can show y'all the work in progress of it and then that was it. But this is what I have so far. And so I like to start for the very first project, the very top I ever made. This is the top right here. This is the very first top I ever made, which is very pretty. Is she a pretty, look at that. See the shimmer, look at the shimmer. Oh, don't look at that. I don't think I weave in stuff. <laughs> I keep bringing the weave in stuff. But like, look at this. I will show you what it looks like when I'm wearing it. Um, So you can see what it looks like. But yeah, this is my first one. Because I'm not really a person that wears like tops that show my, off my boobs, but I wanted to make this to like be a little more confident and everything. So that's what I did, which I do like it. It's just a little, the sizing is not that great on me. Like it's a little, some space is like a little awkward and stuff like that, but it's still cute. And this is my first one. I made this back in, I want to say 2021. I'm pretty sure it was 2021 or 2020 that it was the first thing i made my crochet top i ever made because i've been crocheting for a while for years now and so yeah that was my first one i made it's very pretty growing with a little shimmer yarn i really like this yarn that i use the second one that i made was this sweater which is pretty which is i love all the what i did to it the one thing i do oh wait i forgot i rate that top out of i want to say okay six mainly because of the sizing that's the reason why i'm right now the six is because of the sizing but this one i like it it's good but the one problem i do have with this is the sleeves it's a little like tight around my sleeves because the way i like stitched together was like weird the way i stitched it together was hard but the fit and everything else, you know, the colors, I, I'm so in love with these colors. If you can't, if you cannot tell, by the way, in my room, my color scheme is like purple, blues, and greens. I love purple, blues, and greens. So a lot of these clothes are those colors because that's what I wear. Yeah, so this is no one. Also, I would like to mention, I have made like other like tops and stuff for other people, but I'm just gonna be showing the ones I made for myself because I have made a lot more tops and outfits, but these are the ones I made for myself. And this one I'll rate a eight, mainly because of the sleeve. The sleeve takes off points for me because it just, it, it, it like hurts. Like I like stretch it out and everything to make sure. I think one day I might undo it, might, I don't know. But it's cute how it is. Hear me wearing it so you can see how the fit's looking like and everything. It's very cute, I love the colors. Um, so yeah, and it's very soft. Like look at this, literally. I'm so proud of myself mainly because of this. Like this like matchup so good. Like look at it. Hey. So pretty. Oh, also I made that one 2021. I want to say 2021. Next one, which is one of my favorites, is these crochet overalls. One thing about me, I like started like love crocheting. Like I started love I love crochet overalls. Like overalls. Any overalls, I like have been slowly collecting oral and stuff and so i made this which is very long i'm just gonna have to like show you me wearing this because me showing you is like um like this is so long but like here's me wearing it i will say it's a little long i wish i took off one extra 
row. But it's fine. I just roll it up when I wear it. And also the scrap. I think I will undo the scraps one day because scraps are getting a little loosey, loosey, loosey. Because I didn't know at the time how to like make the scraps not like stretch so bad over time. Because when it comes to like yarn stuff, a lot of times it like stretch over time. And I found out recently, like for like last year or something, that a way to make your scraps don't stretch out that much. But this is very pretty. Look at the color, like. Now, I remember I made this in 2022 and everything. Cause I remember, cause I was like crocheting these squares when I was at school <laughs> in class and everything. I was like, I used to like, I used to back in high school, I used to like bring my crochet pro stuff to school and crochet and everything. And the teachers were like, oh, what you doing? I'm like, just crocheting the outfit. Cause when I first wore this to school, I, all the teachers were like, was so in love with it and everything, which I'm so proud of this. Cause this is like, was like the cutest thing ever. Like, look how cute is this? But it's like long, but it's very cute. And it was like designed me. I like did, this is my own pattern that I did. I didn't follow along to anything for this. Cause I was just like, I got this and just did my own little thing. I wish I knew at the time that yarn stretch a lot over time. So like, you think you need long, but actually you actually need to make it shorter because over time it's gonna get a little longer and looser, which would make up for it like that. I rate this one. At, I'm gonna say eight point five, maybe eight point five. Yeah, I think eight point five. I'm gonna give this an eight point five. Next one are these crochet shorts which they're so cute and some oh my god they're so cute and soft like look how cute these are so cute here's me wearing them Ooh. the funny thing is i actually made this for a um class assignment Cause I made this um, also in 20, I think it was like 2022. Or was it? I don't remember. <laughs> it was one of my classes, cause the class I had, cause it was during COVID time and we we're online. And then the class I was in was like home ec where you like learn how to sew and like cooking all that stuff. But the thing is, I didn't feel like sewing nothing, <laughs> sewing, cause the pro one of the projects was sewing shorts and she knew I'd crochet. So she allowed me to crochet my shorts. And so this is what I did. I crocheted my shorts and says, I do know how to sew. I just didn't feel like doing that or buying yarn fabric at the time. And I already had yarn at the house. So she allowed me to crochet my shorts, which I was happy about because these two are so cute. She, she was so loved it. <laughs> but these are so cute. I love the all blue tones that I did for it. But like literally, I you wear I I don't wear it out that much. I mainly sleep in these because these are so soft. But I do wear it out every sometimes, but these are so cute. But this actually I will give it a 9.5. The reason why I give it a 9.5 is because it is a little big on my waist. I know I had like the jawstring, but I wish it was still a little the waistband was a little tight. Just a little, so then I make use it because it's like it like bunch up a little bit, but it does fit well in all of it. It's just I wish the waistband was a little more tighter instead of bigger, smaller. But yeah, this is my point five, and it's cute shorts. So next one, look, look at this. Look, can you see that? Look at that. I'm telling you, I, this is like, this is the best. This looked like I bought it from a store. Now I made this um, in my first year of college, which was literally not too long ago. <laughs> I made this and oh my goodness, I am so in love with this. Like, do you see this stitch? I cannot remember the stitch name. I, it was like Ap Apolline, I think, Apolline or something like that stitch. I'll probably put it right there, <laughs> where stitch it was. But literally, look at that texture. 
of that and like I am so it is so soft and it's so big I got so many compliments when I was wearing it and I was telling people every time someone said something to me I was like yeah I made it and I was like because <laughs> I was so in love with this top but like here's me wearing it also my little crochet pillows I mean yeah me wearing it <laughs> But yeah, this is literally like so pretty. Like, look at this roll. I'm telling you, look at this. Like, look. The back is just a plain color. I'm just, I was just like, I'm just loving the front. I'm just mainly because of this texture because it's so cute. And it looks so cute to me and it's so warm. This is so, so like a good sweater for the winter. Everything. Yeah. This is really one. I think this is my favorite sweater. Sorry, all this weather. <laughs> but this is the this is like the top tier one because it looks so perfect and good, y'all. Like, I was so happy when I saw this and when I finished it because I was like, oh, why does it look like I bought? I, it looks like I bought it from store. Like, don't lie to me. Like, tell me the truth. Does it look like I bought it from the store? Because I'm pretty sure it looks like I bought it from the store. But no, I like literally made this myself. Which I was after this. I was like, I think I perfect how to make the good sweater because this looks. so so good. I can't stop bragging. Like, look, I'm sorry. I'm just like talking about how good it is. But it's so good and I'm so in love with it. Everything. And so. And I rate this one a 10 out of 10 because it deserves it because I'm proud of myself. This is so Snuggy. Snuggy. Well, one thing I do wish, which I'm still giving it a 10 out of 10, I just wish it's a little longer. Just a little longer. But it's fine because I do like an oversized. It's not. Is that that oversized? It is lower size, but not that much. How I normally like myself to be oversized because I do love oversized stuff. Um. So, but this right here is the top tier. This is like the. Cause this neck. Oh my god. You was. Oh my god. I'm pretty sure you saw like this right here. So cute. It took me the longest time to find a good one and like to figure out the length because I want it to be on um, a um. You know what I'm talking about. Whatever it's called. I can't think of it right now on the top of my head. But like I wanted it to be that look because I like it so much. But oh, I'm so in love with this. Okay, so this is the next one on the list, which mmm is another overalls, y'all. It's another overalls. It is so cute. I made this two months ago. Look! It's so cute! Now, the last two stuff I will show you, I used them using scrap yarn and everything to make both of them. And this one, top tier. This one is so cute, y'all. Like, I this is also my own pattern I made. I don't have it written a word because I haven't. I was like freehand as I go and everything. Because I wanted, because I saw someone made th this top piece, not the short, like a little top piece like this. And I was like, you know what, that'd be so cute as overalls. And so I made, I designed it to be overalls instead of it being the little vest thing. And I, that's what I, that's how I got my inspiration for. For I saw it and I was like, you know what, that'd be so cute as overalls. So that's what I did. Here's me wearing it. So cute. Literally, look at this, bro. Look at these colors. So pretty. Love this. Because one thing I love is seeing other people make like scrap projects because they're all they look so cute. They look so cute. And so I just had to make my own one. Like this reminds me of a TV. You know what I'm talking about. I'm pretty sure you know what I'm talking about. But I'm a TV. But this is so cute and it fits me so well. Like fit me so good. And everything and I just want to make a whole bunch more of this because it's just too damn cute and I will rate this a 9.5 and you might want to take it out to 5 <laughs> mainly because of the scrap Cause if you can't tell it like the scrap like bend in that way because i added this border to make it more sturdy which does help but it makes it more like in this type of way so i want to figure out in the future how to make it like be more straighter and not have it like little this bump you know what i'm talking about you see this instead of having that i wanted to like lay more flat that's the only reason why i'm taking on five points 
because everything else is like so cute and I'm so in love with it. And I love the popple green every now and then. Mainly because I learned to not have much green. I was like running low on green. So I was like trying to space out the green to make sure it's like well balanced because I want to make sure myself is balanced and everything. Now the last one, which I actually finished it literally last night. I literally finished last night. Which my family is so in love with it, which I'm so in love with it and so proud of it because it's so cute and everything. But give it up for the last thing I made and came with me more because this is like literally so cute. Y'all are like gonna be like, y'all gonna love it so much. This was the other thing I used for my scraps. This crochet hoodie. Look. Oh my goodness, look at this, look at this, look at this. This is like so cute. Like literally look at this, y'all. Oh, I'm so lovely. I'm telling you, it is so pretty. Hear me wearing it. I actually made a um, TikTok. Also, if you want to like follow my TikTok, which link down below, because I do post on there now and then. I mean, I, I'm a little slow when it comes to posting sometimes, but I do try to post like there every now and then to keep up the, you know, stuff. But here's the video with no sound because I don't want to get copyrighted or none of that. But here's the video and everything of me having it out. So cute. But yeah, literally this, like, I'm like, I'm still a little shocked that I actually made this and like my own hands made this because I cannot believe that I actually made this. <laughs> Cause it's so cute. Like, I'm like, I sometimes, it's, okay, personally I'm not the only one that, when I make things, sometimes I'm like, dang, did I make that like for real? Because this don't look like a reality. Like, I can't believe that I actually sat here and made this. Literally sat here and made this. It is so cute. I'm so in love with it. And I just like keep making this. Literally look at this. This is colors. I was all upset because this green, I did not have a lot of green. So I couldn't like use it. But thing is it's fine because actually it look good with the green I use in it. Cause it makes it pop more, which I love that. But I'm so in love with this. But yeah, this project in my overalls was like, I was trying to use up scrap because I have a lot of yarn and I wanted to like use them up because I don't want to like keep pouring my yarns. I want to be able to actually, I want to actually use my yarn up because I don't want to be a hoarder and I want, I need to think of because I have a lot of yarn for over the years, okay? And so, and this project right here took up literally all of it. Like, I don't even have that much yarn of this type of yarn, this type of yarn. Because I do have a lot of different types of yarn and colors and stuff. But yeah. Okay, right, so there is all my, all my little outfits from over the years that I made. You know, you can see my growth and like my change and everything. And, I'm pretty sure in the future I will show y'all other projects and stuff I make and everything, but those are like my clothes that I made that I made for myself because I have done other outfits and stuff for other people, which I have made a lot more. I'm telling you, I have I have crocheted a lot more outfits and stuff. I just don't have it with me because you know they have it, <laughs> so I don't have it. But I wish I could show y'all, but I don't. And so yeah, I just want to show y'all my little my crochet pro progress of over the years of me like learning making clothes and stuff and everything because I like crocheting a lot like different things but yeah I am so happy about my progress because seeing my growth and crocheting and like making it look more professional and clean and everything I'm just so proud of myself and I just want to show you guys and so I hope you so hope you enjoy this video um like subscribe and comment down below and follow on for my journey because i might be posting more often who knows we'll see thank you so much for watching this video and yeah i think that's it I was literally just editing and i totally forgot to show you what i was talking about earlier because i said i had like one more like thing of thing i was working on was clothing but here it is don't mind the noise. I'm watching TV. Um, but this is gonna be a cardigan. And the reason why I took so long because I ran out of this yarn and this yarn isn't like, discontinued and everything. So I had to like 
try to look for like more yarn which i did find more of this yarn but just a different color it's going to be green and which look, looks like you that but but yeah here were those longer belts and it's so soft but yeah so here's the little project i was like talking about mentioning earlier in the video so i will show y'all it when i finish it in another video so because i'm planning on working on it soon to finish it up